Rain Dakota Prescott did it again. 26 for 35. Uh, you know, completions uh, and attempts. Uh, 404 yards. That's pretty good. Not one, not two, not three, not four, five total touchdowns on the day. Fourth of the air, one on the ground. Good run, too, by Dak. Very impressive run uh, in the red zone. Pass rating of 138 and a QBR. Now, QBR, for those of you who don't know, is a stat that is that takes into account, obviously, your, your stat line, but that's more for pass rate. It's more pass rating is geared. Uh, they also look at the film. They look at, uh, hey, was that throw your fault? Uh, if you threw an interception. Like, Dak threw an interception in the game. That was 100% on Dak. He made a bad read. Uh, you know, it, it takes into account rushing. or takes into account the whole picture, and it, it adds context, which is why I love the stat. And they judge it like any standardized test in the United States of America, not named the ACT, 0 to 100. Dak Prescott got a 97 QBR. And here's what Dak's been doing. So I remember that game against San Francisco very well. Five weeks ago, just a month ago. Wasn't that long ago. Dak and the Cowboys went to San Francisco, got annihilated. Was it 42 to 10 was the final score? I mean, they, they just, the Niners ran a rough shot on Dallas and Dak didn't play very well, threw three interceptions and everybody, I, you can check the tape. Whole football world. Yep, Cowboys can't win with Dak. He's not the guy. They got to trade Dak. They got to, they can't extend Dak. And I said, okay, that's, that's a bit much. But then again, what's new in the evaluation of Dak Prescott by many out there? Yeah, since that loss to San Francisco, let's put, take a look at what Dak Prescott has done. Since week six, he's thrown for 100, uh, sorry, 1,354 yards, 1,300 yards. He has 14 total touchdowns, 12th of the air, two on the ground. He's only thrown two picks, has a completion percentage of 72%, pass rating of 124.2, and a QBR of 77. Dak is top 10 in touchdown passes, is top 10 in passing yards, and third in the NFL in QBR. So Dak is playing the best football of his career. He's squarely in the MVP discussion. I think today he's second behind C.J. Stroud as we sit here today. But why is Dak playing the best football of his career? Why has he went from last year, obviously, leading the league in interceptions? Again, I, I thought at least half of those uh, were not his fault. Either a tipped pass off a receiver's hands or off somebody's helmet or somebody ran the wrong route unintentionally or intentionally because they didn't want to get hit. Like, that's just bad. Dak got some bad, bad luck. Now, the interceptions that were his fault, I was the first to criticize him for. It was a game against Washington, threw a bad pick six, threw a bad pick against Houston that almost cost him the game. Like, I get on Dak when, when it's it's time to get on Dak. Um, why is Dak playing his best football, though? Well, number one, he's, he's an elite quarterback. I've been saying that for as long as the show's been going. But Mike McCarthy has allowed Dak to be what makes him elite, what makes him great, what gives him the best chance to succeed, and what makes what what makes Dak his best. Getting out to the pocket, allowing him, and I have oh my gosh, how many times have I said on the show, and it drove me crazy last year with Kellen Morris at Kellen. Could you let Dak take some shots? Could you let Dak take some shots? McCarthy has. You've seen shots down the field multiple to Brandon Cooks, who finally got involved in the offense. You saw, saw a, a gorgeous ball by Dak Prescott down the right sideline to Michael Gallup. Perfect throw. He's taken shots to CeeDee Lamb this season. He took shots last week against Philadelphia to Jalen Tol Who's Jalen Tolbert? Dak's getting him involved. I mean, there was three plays yesterday where the Cowboys literally rolled the, moved the pocket. They said, Dak, we're, we are going to design plays. McCarthy says, Dak, we're going to design plays for you to get outside the pocket. That's where he's at his best. Dak's also at his best in general in terms of his mobility. Whether that's McCarthy giving him the freedom to do so in terms of play calling, whether it's just Dak's instincts, whether it's Dak, this is the healthiest he's been since the terrible ankle injury, injury three years ago. Like, this looks like old Dak from a mobility standpoint. And when you combine it with the fact that he's improved drastically as a pure thrower from a mechanics perspective uh, and otherwise, like, this is the best version of Dak that we've seen. For the record, I saw this stat uh, today. If I could pull it up. Uh, do we have it? Yeah, there it is. Okay. Uh, Dak Prescott in uh, since week six, the offense for the Cowboys. They, they put up 640 yards of offense yesterday. The Cowboys offense is averaging 361 yards a game. And Dak, of course, as I mentioned, has 14 pass and rushing touchdowns. Both stats are the best in football. I mean, that's, that's kind of where, that, that's where we're at today. That's where Dak's at today. And yes, 
He's squarely in the MVP discussion. By the way, another stat, last act stat I'll, I'll give. And again, I think McCarthy deserves credit for a lot of this. Um, I saw this stat from a pro football focus. Yeah, they, they Literally, their job is to sit down and watch film all day. That is their job. They're, they're very good at it. You know, Dak Prescott, I heard one pundit, of which I have great respect for. Won't mention this person's name. Great respect for. Um, but this person's dead wrong in this assessment of Dak. In, in that, d- turnovers are in Dak's DNA. It's just who he is. No, it's not. Here's a fun stat for y'all. Dak Prescott is number one in the NFL in turnover-worthy play rate. Essentially saying he has the least amount of plays, least per- lowest percentage of plays of any quarterback in football. Lowest percentage of plays in which it was turnover-worthy by the tape. 1.7%. This is who he is. He makes good decisions when given the opportunity to. By the way, Dallas is establishing a little bit of a run game. It's still not quite where they would like to be, but to the Cowboys' credit, I I think one of the surprises to me for Dallas, at least this point in the season, is how well their offensive line's playing. Outside of Terrence Steele, I thought they did a great job protecting Dak last week. I thought this week, I mean, this is the Giants. I get that. But the Dexter Lawrence is a really good player in the interior. Did a good job against him. Outside of the pocket, allow Dak to use his legs. The things that make him great, use that to your advantage. Don't be like Kellen Moore and say, I-, I want you to fit the way I want you to be. That's a great lesson for life. Whether it's a relationship, whether it's, uh, you know, a, f- a friend group, whether it's where you work. Whoever allows you to be the best version of yourself and, and and buys into the best version of yourself, that's who you want to be with. And Dak Prescott has his match in that regard in Mike McCarthy. And for the record, you're seeing it with CeeDee Lamb too. A better Dak means a better CeeDee Lamb. How about this for CeeDee Lamb? Okay, this is fun uh, for, for, for you Cowboys fans out there. Do we have it? Yep. CeeDee Lamb. I gave you Dak stats since week six. CeeDee Lamb stats since week six. He's tied for first in the NFL in catches. He's first in receiving yards. He has four touchdowns total uh, through the air and on the ground and has 22 receptions of 15 or more yards. Also first in the NFL. And for the record, I mentioned Dak stats and CD stats. I should have added further context to this. Three weeks ago, they didn't even play because they were on a bye. So this is in a three-game stretch and they're doing what they're doing. I mean, it's slowly evolved in the best quarterback receiver tandem in football. I mean, it really has. I mean, two of Tyreek is good. Uh, it's actually, it's not good. It's great. Uh, Hurts to Brown is is, is 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 as elite as they come. Is it fair to say Dak to Lamb is number one in that regard? Maybe. Dak Prescott, number two today in the MVP front runner, uh, in the MVP race, and in general. Am I surprised? Of course, I'm not surprised. Thanks so much for watching the show on YouTube and be sure to go click that big red subscribe button and check out the other clips and full shows from Carving It Up Live as well as our other incredible content creators here on the Grid Network.